You know what time it is. Thank you guys so much for 12,000 subscribers. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. First and foremost, thank you so much for helping me hit 12,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I am extremely grateful for each and every one of you who have chosen to subscribe, so thank you. I appreciate you helping me grow this thing. We went from 10,000 to 12,000 pretty quick and I'm excited to see where we can take it from here, so thank you. Now what you see behind me is every rod and reel setup that I currently take on the boat with me to throw when I'm out there fishing. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through every single one of them, show you what they are, and tell you what techniques and baits that I use them for. You can see the rods all stacked up behind me and while this isn't every single rod and reel that I own, these are all the setups that I actually use while I'm out there on the boat currently. I almost did this video in the past but then I saw a couple other people that were doing it so I decided to hold off and wait a little while but today we're finally going to get into the complete rod and reel arsenal and I'm going to break down the entire lineup for you guys and show you every one of the rigs that I take with me and use out there on the water. Let's get into it. All right guys before we get too deep off into it, if you happen to enjoy yourself, if you have fun, if you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel help us color in the bar even more we're on a mission for a hundred K trying to obtain that elusive silver play button and I can't do it without you so if you enjoy the video that you're about to watch consider subscribing to the channel hit that notification bell so you catch all my future videos I put out new content here all the time fishing related videos from in here in the garage and out there on the water and I would love to have you guys riding along for the journey 12,000 man thank you guys so much got a little partly cloudy action going on so you'll probably see some lighting shifts throughout the video nothing I can do about that all right so let's get right off into this whole rod and reel arsenal breakdown. So first things first, a couple things I want to mention before I start showing the rods. These are going to be my bass fishing setups only. I have a couple other setups for like crappie fishing, stuff like that, and a couple catfish rods over in the corner of the garage and some old stuff. But in this video, we're going to be breaking down all of my current bass fishing setups. Mostly going to be bait casters here. And I'm going to go ahead and just get the one spinning setup that I carry with me for bass fishing out of the way. And here it is, man. This is a Shimano Sahara C3000. I've got it mounted up here to a six inch fishing MF or series spinning rod. It's a six foot 10 inch medium power moderate fast action rod and I use this for throwing things like the Ned Rig or Wacky Rig Worm, Weightless Senko, stuff like that man. Super finesse applications. I've got 10 pound braid to an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. That right there is a little 6 cents fishing Ned Fry on a Ned head and if you see me throwing this, times are tough but that is the one spinning setup that you're going to see here in the arsenal so I just wanted to go ahead show you guys that and get it out of the way. Now we can get off into the fun stuff, power stuff, the stuff that I like to throw, the stuff that we all want to see, the bait casting setup. Start off with this bad boy right here. You guys know that I love to throw a weightless fluke. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. And currently, the setup that I'm doing that with is the Shimano SLX DC Reel 15 pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon weightless fluke there on a little 4 EWG hook. And I have the reel mounted up to another MF or series rod. This is the 7 foot 2 inch medium heavy, moderate fast action, and that is what I like to throw weightless flukes on. This setup is also really good for chatter baits. A lot of people prefer a more moderate action for throwing chatter baits. I'll throw them on either fast action or moderate action, but this right here has also been really good for that application, and that is bait casting setup number one. Weightless fluke, MF or series, 7.2 medium heavy, moderate fast with the Shimano SLX DC. I'm gonna be going through the stuff that you guys see me throw most often, and then we'll go into the more specific stuff, the crankbait rods and the swim bait rods and stuff like that. First up, these are going to be the few that I tend to throw the most. And next up in that lineup is going to be this super heater right here. You guys know that I love throwing a swim jig and this is probably the setup that I pick up the most when I'm trying to cover water and pick them apart and figure out what they want. This is the sensory series from Sixth Sense Fishing. Every rod that you see in this video is going to be a Sixth Sense Fishing rod. I throw exclusively Sixth Sense Fishing rods. I've been extremely impressed ever since I started using them. Have gone and replaced practically every rod in the boat with Sixth Sense Fishing heaters. But this right here is probably if I had to pick a favorite people ask me all the time what rod should I go with from the six and my answer is undoubtedly always if you can afford it the sensory series I absolutely love the sensory rods I have a couple of these guys in the arsenal and they're just awesome man this is the seven foot three inch heavy power fast action rod and this is my favorite for throwing the divine swim jig you guys know that divine swim jig smoke probably my favorite all-around moving bait to throw super confidence bait it's the bait that I caught my PB on nine and a half pounds 
We've got a Shimano Corrado DC reel, 15 pound fluorocarbon line mounted up on this bad boy. Speaking of Shimanos, I throw exclusively Shimano reels. I love the Shimanos. I've gone through a multitude of brands and once I started using Shimano, I never looked back. So all the reels that you see in this video will also be Shimanos. You guys will see a pattern develop once we get further into this, but that is my swim jig rod, the Sensory Series, seven foot, three inch, heavy, fast. I love this thing, man. You don't have to throw a swim jig on this. This is just what I use to throw a swim jig. And I picked this thing up probably more than any other setup on the boat. If I had to pick one to take with me and I could only pick one, it would be this one right here, man. The Sensory Series. Love these rods. Another rod that you guys are seeing me constantly pick up while I'm out there on the water. You know I love a top water hit. Those skadooshes, I am all about it. And this is my go-to top water walking bait rod. This is the Lux Series from Sixth Sense. Six foot, nine inch, medium power, moderate fast. And this thing is just awesome for the walking baits, man. I love throwing this thing. It's also really good for throwing smaller square bills, finesse square bills, cranking. This is an awesome cranking rod, but I've got it spooled up right now with straight braid to another Shimano Corrado DC. And as you can see, the catwalk, new top water heater that Sixth Sense recently released, tied onto that bad boy. And I am loving every minute of it out there throwing the top water heaters with this thing. Also the Dogma 100 is another favorite top water bait of mine to throw on this setup. It's another confidence setup and it's one of the funnest ways to catch them. If you can get them to hit up top, that's how I like to do it, man. You guys know the deal. Heaters only. And this is my walking bait top water heater right here, man. The 6.9 medium moderate Lux series rod. Awesome. Out of all the rods that Sixth Sense produces, I think the Lux series is probably the best bang for your buck. Coming in right around at that $150 price point. And they're just awesome, man. I put these things through the ringer. I have a bunch of Lux series rods and I like every one of them. That is that walking bait smoke right there. Also a really good square bill cranking rod. Next up is another sensory series. This right here is the seven foot four inch medium heavy fast action and I and I've currently got it rigged up with a little shaky head and a divine shaky worm but this is a really good rod for jigging finesse jigging Texas rigging a great all-around rod if you could only pick one if you could only have one I would say go with this one the sensory series seven foot four inch medium heavy fast action excellent all-around rod you can do a lot of stuff with this rod super versatile the sensory series a little bit more pricey coming in around two hundred and fifty dollars but well worth every penny in my opinion like I said I love the sensory series got this one mounted up with another SLX DC 7.2 to 1 gear ratio. A lot of the reels that you guys are seeing are either 7 or 8 gear ratios. I like a fast gear ratio reel. I have a slower reel in here that I'll show you guys, but mostly everything that you're seeing is either a 7 to 1 or an 8 to 1. The 7 foot 4 inch medium heavy fast action sensory series. Probably the best all around heater in the lineup. You guys know the deal. You can save 10% off of every rod that you're going to see in this video as well as the baits. SixCentsFishing.com JR10 at checkout. JR10 for the win. Heaters only. You know the deal. It's a great way to support the channel and save money at the same time if you're interested in scooping up any of these rods for yourself check them out man the sensory series and that is setup number five right there now setup number six that we're going to take a look at is another lux series rod this is the seven foot five inch heavy fast good for jigging as you can see i have a jig tied on right here with a little stroker craw trailer on the back another seven to one slx dc reel this is a longer rod heavier action but it's also sensitive enough to where i can really tell what's going on down there on the bottom dragging a jig around with the seven five heavy fast lux series rod it's an excellent option if you're looking for something that's not quite as expensive as the sensory series and you like jigging and heavy Texas rigging, I think this is a great option. This is also a really good frogging rod. A lot of people think you need a broomstick to frog with. That's not the case, man. A nice seven foot, five inch, heavy, fast rod like this, excellent for frogging. A lot of people have trouble with the hook sets on the heavier rods and using a little bit lighter rod, something that's not so stiff, will help you out, help you get more hookups, improve your hookup ratio if you're out there frogging. So don't overlook the heavy, fast for frogging as well. I will not hesitate to throw a frog on this bad boy. Most of these setups that you see are gonna be spooled up with fluorocarbon, Sunline Assassin, fluorocarbon and this one is no different. This is 15 pound. Got that nice six cents jig on there. The stroker craw trailer. And that is setup number six, man. The Lux. Seven foot, five inch, heavy power, fast. Excellent rod for all the heavier applications. Texas rigging, jigging, frogging. Good to go with the Lux Series 7.5, man. All right. Now with all that being said, do as I say, not as I do, right? This is my frogging setup and it is another Lux Series, but this is the 7.5 extra heavy fast. This thing is stiff. Super heavy, super stiff. More along that broom stick style rod. Not a lot of play, not a lot of bend in this bad boy. You're going to have to really drive that hook set home when you're out there frogging. I've got the Vega Frog from Six Sense Fishing, which I hope is dropping soon, man. You guys ask me all the time, when will the frogs be available? I'm not sure. It's out of my control, hopefully soon, but that's what that is. The Vega Frog tied up here. This is the Shimano Corrado K. And a couple things about the K. I love it. When I pick this thing up, I completely forget that it's not a DC reel. This thing is awesome. It casts a mile, super smooth, super durable. Absolutely love the Corrado K. 
hey, this right here is my frogging setup. Like I said, you don't have to have a super heavy action rod to frog, but for me, the seven foot, five inch, extra heavy, fast action Lux series rod is a great frogging option. Some people prefer the heavier stuff, and if you're one of those people, this could be the rod for you, man. That's that extra heavy Lux broomstick heater right there, man. There's a quick look at that Vega frog, man. I know you guys are really anxious to get your hands on these. I will make sure you all know as soon as they are live. Follow me on Instagram for all the behind the scenes updates. I'll make sure you guys are tuned in and ready to go as soon as they hit the website. But stay ready so you don't gotta get ready because I got a feeling they're gonna sell out super fast. All right, moving on to the next setup in the lineup. This right here is the Supreme Heater, man. The top of the line when it comes to six Sense rods. The creme de la creme, the cream of the crop, the upper echelon of rods that they offer. This is the six Sense Unicorn. Extremely sensitive, extremely light, top of the line, high quality, awesome rod. This is the seven foot four inch, heavy power, fast action. And generally I will use this for anything, man. Anything a little bit on the heavier side. Texas rigging, jigging, swim jigging. I love this rod. Recently got broke off, so I don't have anything tied onto it right now, but this is an extremely versatile rod and one of the absolute nicest rods that they offer. The Unicorn series from Sixth Sense. Check it out. Put a crown on it. Look at that bad boy. Just an awesome rod, man. One of the nicest rods that I've ever used in my life. The Unicorn series from the Six. Awesome. Seven foot, four inch, heavy power, fast action. Shimano Corrado DC, 15 pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon. What else is new? And yeah, this is uh, another one of my go-to heaters. If I'm in a situation where I really want to fill the bottom where I need maximum sensitivity. If I'm jigging, Texas rigging, or if the fish are finicky and they're not really hitting the baits too hard and I really need to be in tune to feel those bites, I'm going to be picking up a six sense unicorn, man. The seven four, heavy power, fast action unicorn, super heater, super heater, man. Love this rod. While we're on the unicorn series, I might as well go ahead and show you the other one that I have. I have two of the unicorns. This right here is the seven foot three inch, medium heavy, fast action. As you can see, I got it rigged up with a little Texas rig, three eighths ounce, pitch black, six cents tungsten, and that prawn john silver another shimano corrado dc 15 pounds sunline assassin fluorocarbon you know the deal i like to throw uh, texas rigs on a medium heavy a lot of the time so that is what i have this one rigged up with and like i said it's super sensitive so i can really feel those bites i can really feel what's going on down there on the bottom of the lake that tungsten hitting the rocks hitting the mud hitting the grass hitting the trees super in tune with the underwater cover when you're using the unicorn this is another one of my go-to heaters right here this is actually the rod that you guys saw me out there pitching and flipping with the other day you don't have to have an extremely heavy rod to pitch and flip. I was doing it with this medium heavy right here just fine, cranking them out of the trees. But I will say that the heavy action unicorn is probably more suited for that technique. Regardless, Texas rigging with the seven foot three inch medium heavy unicorn. Awesome, dude. Just awesome. Hard to beat, man. Super sensitive, top of the line, upper echelon, coming in closer to that $300 price point. But you can knock some dollars off of that if you use that JR10 code at checkout. All right, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, like I mentioned earlier, subscribe to the channel. I got a few more rods and reels to show you, but I appreciate you hanging out with me out here in the garage today taking the time to tune in and watch what i've got going on over here on the channel much love to you all and thank you again for helping me hit 12,000 subscribers next two rods that you're going to see are lux series rods i showed you the 6.9 moderate action we're going to move up into a rod with a little bit more length but similar action built for similar technique this is the 611 medium heavy moderate fast and i'd say this right here is the best all around cranking rod you can get away with a lot of stuff on this you can throw everything from the small square bills up to like the c10s honestly right now you can see i have it rigged up with a speed wake wake bait it's good to have a nice medium to medium heavy power moderate action rod for wake baiting and that's what i've been using this for a lot throwing that speed wake having a lot of fun doing it but this is also an excellent cranking rod you saw me out there throwing the crush flat 75x in one of my recent videos on this thing and it did great for that technique i love throwing a larger square bill a medium diving crankbait and the wake baits on this the lux series 611 medium heavy moderate fast of course shimano corrado dc rigged up with either 15 or 12 pound sunline assassin some fluorocarbon depending on what technique i'm using I'm trying to get down there a little bit deeper on the cranks i'll throw that 12 on there that right there i believe is the 15 and that is another one of my favorite setups to throw man loving that speed wake lately having so much fun throwing that thing also i'll make sure i let you guys know when they're back in stock make sure you follow me on instagram posting a lot on instagram giving you guys constant updates just like the weatherman. Next up, another cranking rod. This right here, this is the Lux Series Cloud 9 Cranker. Seven foot, 11 inch, medium heavy, moderate action. And this rod is specifically designed for throwing baits like the Cloud 9 Series, C10, C15, 20, 25, 300 DD, all the deep diving stuff. This is the rod you wanna go with right here. I've got this one matched up with a little bit slower reel. This is a six to one, 6.3 to one, Shimano SLX DC, some more Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon on there. And this is an excellent deep diving crankbait rod, my go-to crankbait rod. Anytime I'm throwing a Cloud 9, I'm throwing it on the Cloud 9 cranker. Love crankbait fishing, man. Some of the most fun fishing you could possibly do. 
have a blast catching them on a crankbait. Now we'll move into a little more of a specialty rod. This right here, this is the last setup that I'm gonna show you guys. This is actually the third and final non-DC reel Shimano Tranks 200 on the MF or Series swim bait rod. This is a seven foot nine inch extra heavy fast action rod designed specifically for throwing bigger baits. As you can see, I have a Flow Glider 130 tied on here right now. That's the jointed swim bait from Sixth Sense. Shimano Tranks 200, 17 pound fluorocarbon for that one. And yeah, haven't caught a fish on it yet but I'm really looking forward to doing so. I've been out there throwing this swim bait around. I've yet to get a bite. And I have a lot of other swim bait stuff on the way from Tackle Warehouse that I actually ordered about a month ago. It's been lost somewhere in between California and Texas for like a month. And I don't really know what to do about that. Hopefully the baits will be found and sent to me soon if you guys are wanting to see the swim bait content. Stay tuned for that. I'm hoping they either show up or send me a replacement order. I don't know. Things are crazy out there in the world right now in regards to shipping and in regards to running a business. So I'm trying to cut them a little bit of slack, but hopefully we'll have the swim baits here on the channel soon and you guys know I'll be doing an unboxing from right here in the garage but that's my swim bait setup Shimano Tranks 200 on the MF or Series 79 extra heavy fast action swim bait rod and that's it man that's the whole lineup currently those are all of the rods and reels that I take with me out there on the boat for bass fishing. I'm extremely blessed to own them all. I feel so grateful to Sixth Sense for supporting us over here on the channel and enabling us to do the things that we do, enabling me to be able to show you all these awesome setups. Shout outs to Sixth Sense. Check them out if you haven't already. They make some of the best baits and rods in the game. And when you support them and use my code JR10 at checkout, it is absolutely supporting the channel here. So I thank you to everybody who has chosen to do so. I've been meaning to do this rod and reel arsenal video for a while. It's taken me a little bit. I was going to do it and then I saw a couple other people do the same video and I was like well I don't want to be putting out the same video as everybody else so I waited held off for a little bit but currently that's all I'm running I know there are some anglers out there that have like 30 40 rods all stuffed into the rod locker I don't have that many this is what I have but I'm extremely blessed and grateful to have what I do have in my opinion that's a lot of setups that's a lot of really nice setups and I feel extremely fortunate to have them but make no mistake about it this stuff was not handed to me they were all obtained through one thing hard work that's it man hard work is what got me to be able to obtain all these rods non-stop grind busting my butt to uh, work my way towards better and better setups i come from the cheap stuff myself man i used to throw the same bait caster and the same rod every single day one setup and back in the day i came from the super cheap stuff man i started out on the zebco just like everybody else it took me a long time to work my way up to these nicer end setups truth be told it doesn't really matter what you fish with man you can catch fish you can catch huge fish you can catch a lot of fish on anything on any type of setup on any rod on any reel you just have to be able to go out there and put in the work put in the time learn the water and figure the fish out that's all it takes man it doesn't take nice gear that being said i'm extremely blessed fortunate and grateful to have all of these rods and reels on my boat one more time thank you guys so much for helping me color in that next bar here on the subscriber meter 12,000 subscribers much love to you all i greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos and subscribe to the channel it means the absolute world to me if you're interested in any of the rods or the baits that i showed you in today's video you know the deal sixcentsfishing.com 10 percent off everything on the website with my code jr10 at checkout jr10 for the win also, check out Waterland, waterlandco.com. Right now, during the launch, you can save 35% off these angler-born, quality-built optical heaters. Same sunglasses that I use every time while I'm out there fishing. Both of those things I just mentioned are excellent ways to support the channel. I also encourage you to go down below the video and read through that description. Check out all the information that I have down there. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you catch all my future content. I've got new videos on the way, more content coming, and I would love to have you guys riding with me over here on the channel. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one. Freaking murder hornet, dude. Whoa. So anyways. <laughs>